Hi, we're back. Howie Napier, Howie's Late Night Rush. Thanks for tuning in here on RSN. This is the segment where the comics come on. This is the only part I really like on my show. I like some of that man on the street stuff. That's okay. We have to edit stuff, so you know it's funny. But th this one is a uh, real genuine because I haven't seen him in like since the last. Has it been a millennium? No. When were you here I, last? I, I meant to bring Five a photo. years? No. I showed Sully. I have a photo of me, my wife, and two kids on the riverboat. And the life preserver says uh, 2004 on it. Wow! Wow! It has been that almost five yeah, years. Because well, my daughter was was a, a little baby then, and they're coming up tomorrow. And now she's five, and he's eight, and we're gonna ski. Folks, Greg Fitzsimmons, Greg the official. Uh, well, I better co cover the brand. I don't want you to get sued by um, right. Star something. Yeah, Star F. <laughs> uh oh, what's wrong? Is it okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. Folks, uh, also a guy who uh, I've known a very long time, and I play a lot of his bits on the radio. They're pretty funny. I haven't heard your stuff, though. I gotta, I'm going to have to, you know, edit Me? stuff. Yeah. I haven't. You don't I've even have a CD, a, do you? I have a, I have a CD. Oh, okay. I didn't get it's, it. It's old, though. I, I want to make a new one, so uh, maybe How old? this week. How old? Uh, was I was, I had jokes. I had jokes. Yeah, I had, it was a CD. How do you know if I had bangs? <laughs> I had jokes about George Bush running for president the first time on my CD. Really? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's fantastic. That's that's I think when, it takes balls to stand outside a show and right. take and do, money for that at this right, point. Right. Oh, that's funny. You should do that. Folks, look, I like... No, I do. I apologize for it in advance. Folks, Sully McCullough's here. I like Sully a lot. He's yeah. got a brand new CD out. Yeah, I do. Hi, Howie. How are you, Sully? Look at that. Sully it's works official. for The Tonight Show now. He's writing... Is, uh, do you write for them, or do you just produce segments, or what? No, I actually write monologue jokes. And no. I am the, uh, the only black writer on The Tonight Show. So, Obama's made some strides, but ah. so have I. <laughs> Wait, did you get the job, you think, because Obama? I think yeah, that yeah. had something to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Change. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, just yeah. think if uh, McCain had won, you might have gotten a job on The Tonight Show. Yeah, look at that, Howie. I don't know, man. That's you too see how uh, that works? old man. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Hey, but, hey, at least I got the, uh, you know. Yeah, I right. <laughs> hey, actually, the, you know what's funny? It's like my funny. first day at The Tonight Show, John McCain was the, uh, was the A guest. I actually bumped into him in the hallway. No way. And I was thinking, I could punch this dude in the stomach. <laughs> And Barack would have an easier time. But he still won, so it all worked out. <laughs> How's that for a story? <laughs> well, you know, as comedians, though, we would have loved, I don't know, man, that would have been a huge, horrible trade-off having McCain and Palin, you know? I mean, that's kind of, it's even, it's tougher with about Barack, but at least I'm thinking of the country, not just the quality of our show. Well, I like to think that Barack is, uh, he's in there for the right reasons. Yeah. You know, because it, it's it's very moving that an African American is finally president. But then when people say America was ready, I think I, I hope that's the case. But the cynical side of me says, oh. no, none of the rich guys wanted the job. And once again, right. a black guy had to take the bad shift right. to get his foot in the door. Right. Because this is the worst shift. It really it is. is. It's a, he's almost like the uh, world's smartest janitor if you think about it. <laughs> Because he is cleaning up a whole He's bunch of mess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. Is he talking about writing for Barack or something? You should uh, write for Burris before he gets out of there. You know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Folks, both. Uh, uh, which Burris? Plexico Burris? And <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you think of the Attorney General saying that uh, we're cowards for not? For, uh, not, for not, not inviting a, black people over on the weekend? Yeah, is that it? Well, let's put that to a test this weekend. Wait, wait, explain <laughs> this, because I don't, I don't you know, know that. Yeah, he no. said uh, we're a nation of cowards because we're not talking more about race. Well, yeah, he said that, uh, yeah, he called uh, America a nation of cowards yeah, when it comes wild? to race relations, because wow. uh, you can work side by side with people of color, but you don't let them yeah. into your home we don't want to eat with and you. socialize. Yeah. Well, that's, no, why, that's why comedy is important, and shows like this, because we do talk about it. That's right, right. folks. Not only, not only will they be... Sitting next to each other, but you'll see them together on stage at the improv. Not yeah. together. I get yeah. it on my contract. 